pitch. Pitchman and Pitchmax additionally add a random pitch offset that is not restricted to semitones. Grain by grain effects. Reson is a basic resonant band pass filter. Filters each grain with randomized center frequency and bandwidth Q. Ring, mo ring modulates each grain with randomized modulation rates. Reverb a simple grain by grain reverb. State of the reverb is not reset for new grains. Previous grains still resonate, such that different grain sizes, densities and envelopes have a qualitative impact on the reverb. Tape mode when activated the sound is not granulated. Everything granulation related is skipped. Speed is restricted to 0.1, 2.0x10 times slowed down to 2 times sped up. Lower or higher values are ignored. Includes highest quality resampling which is less expensive at small integer ratios. Speed at 0 0.1, 0 0.15, 0 0.2, 0 1.95, 2.0. Fade can be used to smooth the loop. Please watch the waveform to understand how it works. Grain by grain effects included in upgrade. Buzz fills the grain with partials harmonics of a fundamental with frequency CPS. Offset determines from which harmonic to start. Brightness determines the loudness of higher harmonics. Modal either passes an impulse with loudness pre-gain or the grain with loudness in gain through a bank of resonators at frequencies set to the resonances modes of some well-known sound objects. BCO fills the grain with the output of up to three band limited oscillators. Each oscillator can be detuned in relation to CPS which results in beating. When the app is in stereo mode detunel results in binaural beating. Pulse width PW can be LFO modulated when the oscillator waveform is either pulse or ramp. This effect has its own filter instance, which can be controlled from the grain by grain filter section and is activated with the filter switch. CPS of buzz modal and BCO takes its value from detect if follow is enabled in either of these. Detect has to be active. If hold is active in buzz, modal and BCO the current pitch is held. Filter filters each grain with one of some resonant filters with sweepable cut CF on a grain per grain basis. In conjunction with VCO this creates grains in analog subtractive style. Detect does a pitch detection on the unprocessed source sound before any of the grain by grain effects is invoked. 
Smooth, smooth, rapid changes of the detected pitch in between successive pitch detections. Prelp is routed to a low pass filter, by which the signal is filtered before pitch detection and may give a more precise result. Bound and bound can be adjusted to keep the detected pitch in a certain range. Transpose transposes the detected pitch in octaves. Note, pitch detection is done with each new grain and should only be used at low grain densities. Phase vocoder and cross synthesis. Before we describe each effect that falls into the two categories we try to give a short description of the algorithms that underlie both and implementation details. Phase vocoder and cross synthesis effects manipulate the spectral representation of the grain. The term spectral representation is used instead of spectrum, because all effects should affect its spectrum, but not all do this by manipulation of the spectral representation of the signal. For the same reason the term frequency components is used instead of frequencies. To transform the grain from its time into its spectral representation of fast Fourier transform FFT is taken from it. The FFT is limited to power of two grain sizes in samples. Therefore, when PV or cross synthesis is active, Grain size is ignored and grain size can only be changed by the FFT size parameter. The FFT size parameter is given in samples. It has a huge influence on the resulting sound. Usually larger FFT sizes give a better sound quality, but are computationally more demanding. To not twice perform the forward and the inverse FFT, which is the transformation of the signal from its spectral representation back to its time representation, when both PV and cross synthesis are active, there is only one FFT size for both. Thus the output of the PV can directly be passed to the input of cross synthesis. Fast Fourier transform refers to an optimized algorithm to compute the real to complex discrete short time Fourier transform. The result of the forward R2 CSTFT from an N samples long grain RN2 plus 1 complex numbers which after conversion from rectangular to polar form give the magnitudes and phases of N2 plus 1 frequency components increasing in frequency from 0 Hz to sample rate 2 Hz and steps of sample rate n hertz. The magnitude is how much of the corresponding frequency component is present in the source signal at the point the grain was extracted from and the phase is the phase of that frequency component. 
The inverse C2RSTFT takes the N2 plus 1 complex numbers computed by the forward STFT to reconstruct the grain. Phase vocoder and cross synthesis effects consist in taking the forward STFT, doing mostly simple manipulations of the computed magnitude phase pairs and then doing the inverse STFT on consecutive grains. The term phase vocoder has probably been chosen because the manipulations were done on the phases and the Fourier transform can be seen as a bank of filters as used by the time domain vocoder. Phase vocoder Phase correction I and II try to eliminate phase interferences at playback speeds unequal to 1.0 in between successive grains by adjusting the phases of the frequency components of the current grain in relation to the phases of the frequency components of the previous grain such that they align continuously. Formant stretch computes a spectral envelope, widens or narrows it and reapplies it to the grain. Random phase sets the phase of each frequency component of the grain to a random value. It is a simple manipulation, but we like it. It gives a real texture, if you define texture as having a continuous and a random element. Zero phase sets the phase of each frequency component of the grain to zero. Gives a metallic sound. OSC bank only keeps the loudest frequency components of the grain, while setting all others to zero. The phase of the kept frequencies components can either be the original phase, zero or continuous. Cross synthesis Cross synthesis effects blend two sounds into one hybrid sound. It is not to be confused with mixing that just adds the sounds. When it is enabled on a track, which we call source, the modulator track, which is the track to blend the source with, does not produce any output by itself and stops computation when it has done its part in providing the current grain in spectral representation, which is then taken by the source to finish computation. Changing grain size or FFT size on the modulator does not have any effect because FFT sizes have to be equal and the FFT size of the source is taken. Polar form does simple interchanges of the magnitudes or phases of source or modulator. Sepstrum shapes the spectrum of the source by the spectral envelope of the modulator. Sepstrum white additionally flattens the source by subtracting its spectral envelope from its spectral representation. Interpolation interpolates between the spectral envelopes of modulator and source. The interpolation parameter can be LFO modulated 
The algorithm for getting the spectral envelope used by these effects is called Sepstrom method for spectral envelope estimation. The cutoff parameter determines the smoothness of the spectral envelope with lower cutoff giving a smoother spectral envelope. Vocoder packs the result of the FFT into channels, with magnitudes averaged and interpolated between source and modulator. Phases are not modified. Vocoder and Sepstrom based algorithms have their time domain counterparts being the mono effects vocoder for the first and the LPC based vocoder of the pro upgrade for the second. Convolution convolves the signals of source and modulator by doing a fast convolution as in the well known convolution reverbs with the difference that convolution reverbs do not granulate and the impulse response is static and usually longer, while in convolution the impulse response the modulator signal is time varying and shorter up to 16,384 samples about 0.4 seconds long. Grain Envelopes Grainstorm has two options to create a grain envelope, ENV1 and ENV2. ENV2 is to draw an envelope with a shape that resembles an ADSR curve. ENV1 consists in an inner envelope, which is the main envelope and an outer envelope by which the inner envelope is shaped. The depth parameter determines how much of the outer envelope is applied to the inner envelope and the cycles parameters determines how many times the outer envelope is applied. This way complex, but symmetric waveforms can be created. The available waveforms for outer and inner envelope are common waveforms from sound synthesis and others which are used in granular synthesis without discontinuities. Waveforms that have the prefix full are bipolar while waveforms that do not have this prefix are unipolar. Waveforms with discontinuities cause distortion. The app can compute band-limited envelopes granulation to band-limited envelope which smooths discontinuities. The computation of band-limited envelopes is expensive and it is recommended to only enable it when you have an envelope with edges and you want to hear a band-limited version. It is possible to disable filling the grain with sampled sound and only use the envelope as content for the grain. Granulation 2. Envelope only this option is experimental. It often results in silence in particular with large grain sizes at low density. For example, if grain size is set to 1 second and density to 1 hertz the result is the envelope waveform oscillating at 1 hertz, considerable less than the 18 to 20 hertz humans are able to perceive as sound. 
There may also be a strong DC component, more so with waveforms that are only positive. If inner envelope is set to a bipolar waveform, it is more 